Hey everyone and welcome to Tech Traverse Tips. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to personalize your Canva template by adding your own pictures. Whether you're working on a social media post, a flyer, or any other project, adding your own images can really make it stand out. So, let's dive right in. Step 1. Open Canva and select your template. First things first, open Canva and log into your account. Once you're in, select the template you want to work with. For this demonstration, I'll be using this YouTube thumbnail. Step 2. Identify the image placeholder. Now, take a look at the template. Canva templates often come with image placeholders. These are areas marked for images, making it easy for you to customize. Identify the image placeholder in your template, it might be a blank square or a designated area. Step 3. Upload your image. Next, let's upload the image you want to use. Click on the Uploads tab on the left sidebar, and then click on Upload an image to select the picture you want to add. Once your image is uploaded, it will appear in your Uploads folder. Step 4. Drag and drop your image. Now, simply drag your uploaded image and drop it onto the image placeholder in your template. Canva will automatically adjust the size and position to fit the placeholder. Feel free to resize or reposition the image if needed. Step 5. Adjust image settings. If you want to make further adjustments to your image, click on it and you'll see options like view crop, filter, and adjust. Play around with these settings to get your image looking just right for your template. Step 6. Save and download your updated design. Once you're satisfied with how your template looks with the new image, it's time to save and download your design. Click on the Download button in the top right corner, choose your preferred file type and quality, and hit Download. And there you have it. You've successfully added your own picture to a Canva template. It's a quick and easy way to customize your designs and make them uniquely yours. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Canva tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.